Hey there folks, Dr. Groovy, GroovyMusicLessons.com, Scott Grove coming to you to, hey, straighten out pit guards. Um, a lot of people talk about it, nobody's actually asked how, but it is always a concern. Hey, Groovy Biscuits, my buddy sent those from overseas. I always uh, save one thing if they send me multiple ones, and of course I ate all the others. Anyway, <laughs> um, let's see, I got a... Paul Reed Smith, S-E-E-G, back here, which you can't see. Um, one of my favorite guitars, of course, of all time. Here's one with uh, the Budweiser logo. Anyway, that pit guard is getting ready to... Um, it's actually in my hands, one like it. Uh, see, I had to straighten out a lot of pit guards here on this multi-thousand dollar uh, Firebird. I had to straighten this one out. Um, everybody's like, oh man, I gotta put new holes in my guitar, I gotta put tape on there, or super glue it down. So here's, I bought this on eBay for 25 bucks again, a P-R-S-S-E-E-G, it was preloaded, signed by some band. I don't know who it is, you guys might recognize the signatures. I have no flipping idea, but they may or may not be coming off shortly. Um... You can ask for this pit guard if, or whatever if you know who this is. So I'm going to take all the uh, electronics out of here and let you see just how bad this is. I'm sure you can uh, start to see with it laying right here. It's just flat horrible, but I'll put it on a flat surface. Then we'll just straighten it out so it'll fit perfectly straight on your guitar. Okay, very simple fix, and um, just something people need to know how to do. That's why I'm here. Okay, so catch you in a sec. Okay, so now here we are in the kitchen getting ready to cook up an amazing confection. Here is our pit guard, as you can tell. If I push over here, uh, boink. Anyway, that's what we've got. And yeah, you try to screw these things down, one here and one here, then you've got everything just all over the place and it's a mess I'm sure a lot of you've been through this again nobody's asked for this video but hey who cares not I um, whatever pan will fit some water I turned this on a little bit higher than low right between low and medium I'm not going to give you how many degrees it is because there's a so people doing the Celsius, people doing the Fahrenheit, blah, blah, blah. So why screw you guys all up? I'm going to take this guy. Let me see. Number one, show you that I can put my hand in the water. It is uh, fairly hot. Not enough to burn my skin, so I'll crank it a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to take this biatch. Toss it in the water. <laughs> Okay, now we've all got one of these. I use it for a um, doorstop, as a lot of people do, these old wrought iron irons. You don't have to have one, just something that's heavy. Okay, and that's all we do is we just cram it in here, put it different places, let it set, and it will do exactly what you think it will. So it'll take um, a little bit. You can even press it down. And it will simply become mostly straight. And then while it's becoming mostly straight, um, it's also heating up all the way through the entire pit guard. So I'm doing this, and that's all I'm doing. <laughs> You're like, I can see that. Okay, but just to kind of let you know what's up. So, you do that to your pit guard, get it again heated all the way through. Not enough to burn the pit guard. You can use Bakelite in here. Again, I showed you the old um, Gibson Firebird. You can put a 1952 uh, Esquire Bakelite pit guard in here. You're like, no way. It's like, what well, do you want a straight pit guard? And this will not mess it up. It's just flippant plastic people okay so um, as you can almost see it's becoming straighter okay again just do it however 
Um, keep this side up if you've got a dirty pan or if you just don't want to take a chance on burning it. I've never burnt one yet. Um, does that mean you won't? No. And if you've got cruddy pans like I do, maybe you don't want rust on your pickguard. Will I ever use this pickguard again? No, I just wanted the guts in it for $25 for all those pickups and just ready to stick in a guitar because I know they sound great. Okay, so there you go. I'm pretty much um, sure that I'm about where I need to be on this thing. I'm going to go one side this way and hold it here for a bit. I'm going to do another uh, video tonight, just a quickie, I believe. Uh, just simply where you put your strap buttons. There's a lot of guitars, especially Gibson SGs. Um, Gibson, I don't know, there's just a lot to bitch about on these people. They're too set in tradition to even move a things, little things like strap buttons where they should be. So your guitars will hang correct. Is your SG actually unbalanced? No. It's just where Gibson decides to put the strap buttons and they just won't change it. Why? Because it's tradition. Okay, so that's pretty much enough for me on this thing. Now all you gotta do is lay it somewhere to dry and to get perfectly flat. So what that's gonna mean, okay, is I reach in here don't burn yourself. It's got a little bit of warble left in here. And I'm going to place it here on the counter. See, it's got a little bit of warble. I'm going to take a piece of sheet metal of any kind, put it there, then put some heavy junk on there. I've got some mm, products <laughs> here that will probably assure that this sits flat. And I will simply let that sit while the plastic dries. I put the um, aluminum there because, I mean, look, <laughs> those aren't completely flat. So I'll let that sit for about 10 minutes and come right back and pull them off. Okay, so there they sit. Okay, so we're taking off the weight. And there's really no surprises here. I mean, it's just, what the hell? <laughs> um, there you go. It's just uh, barely a little there. I bet there's probably still enough heat to do this. Uh, almost. Hey, it's pretty flipping flat. And I'll tell you what, um, while your water's cooling down, even if you want to, if something's not quite right, you can like, you know, that one end, stick it in the water. This plastic just goes quick. Stick it in there. Watch this. Uh, me and my one hand. You can bend it over and it will start to be pliable again. And just put it on the edge if it ain't quite straight. Just push it before it. And make it straight over the edge until it's just right. Then move it back a little. And it'll take every wrinkle out of the damn thing. So, again, if it doesn't come out from underneath your stuff perfectly. Just stick whatever's not quite right, right back in the pan before it's completely dry. I can probably still get that little warp out, just bend it. There you go, it's gone. So, again, if you guys know who these signatures are, and if you want the stupid pick guard for any reason, let me know, because I have no idea who this band is, and they didn't even mention themselves. Uh, here on off the bar um, but I'm never gonna use this pit guard I have no reason for it plus it's white <laughs> okay so that's it that's how you straighten out pit guards you heat them and then you you know make sure you use water but just don't melt them you know just get them to a point where they're flexible and let them dry standard common sense okay talk to you later kids bye